Okay, this is the gas pressure regulator. Uh, used for natural gas, can be used for propane too. Uh, not particularly this one, but uh, different ones can be used. The gas comes in here and is regulated out here. Probably coming in about seven inches of water column here. Coming out anywhere from one to four inches there, depending on the equipment. Parts on this thing. This is a valve here. Now, this is attached to this diaphragm. And it opens and closes against that spring. Okay, this is the spring. This is an adjustable spring. It's adjusted by this nut up here. The spring presses down on the diaphragm. Now here's your diaphragm here and it's attached to that rod that is pressed down by the spring above. And this the rod is also connected down here to this valve. So when my gas comes in here, the spring We'll get a little wider there so we can see that whole thing again. Okay, the spring presses down on the diaphragm here, which opens this valve. Once my water column pressure comes in here, it passes through this valve, pushes on the diaphragm, and tends to close the valve. Now it's pushing against the spring. If you look close, you can see that spring compressing there now you can see as I move this the spring is going to compress and it uh, this valve down below right there As the pressure comes in here, this is open because we're empty throughout the rest of this. So as the pressure increases, then it increases on the diaphragm, and the diaphragm closes off the valve. Now, if the pressure downstream, that is here, and if you note, this passage goes right up into where the diaphragm is. This is your outlet. So if this pressure here reduces, then that reduces the pressure on this diaphragm because this valve is closed. There's no gas allowed in there. So as that reduces, then this begins to open. And when the pressure gets up to the whatever this spring is set for, then it modulates somewhere in here because the pressure in here is the actual pressure on the diaphragm and this is regulating how much gas can pass through and at what pressure now let's kinda make up how this would work this would be closed when the machine is off because we have enough pressure in here to overcome the zero pressure here. Okay, the gas valve opens and gas passes out here. That's going to reduce the pressure in this diaphragm in here. As that pressure reduces, then the spring's going to take over and open. So gas is going to rush in to pressurize the diaphragm again. It's going to tend to close. Now, depending on how much gas is passing out of here, that, that will regulate how much this valve is open. Because as it opens, it increases the pressure on the diaphragm, which tends to close the valve. And as it closes, it decreases the pressure on the diaphragm, and it tends to open again. Very simple little valve. Uh, these operate, these increase 
the downstream pressure by the adjustment of the spring. Now this spring adjustment is trying to open the valve. So as the spring adjustment opens the valve and pushes down, then the valve allows more gas to the diaphragm which tends to push it back closed again. So it reaches a balance. If I wanted less pressure I would counterclockwise this and that would give less spring tension here which would mean less pressure inside here. If I turn it down and put more spring pressure on it then there's more pressure trying to push this valve open and my downstream pressure will increase. That's pretty much in a nutshell what the uh, gas pressure regulator does. A uh, couple other things about this regulator. We have here a small orifice. Now this orifice is very small and this needs to be piped either outside or to the pilot light uh, because it's possible this diaphragm here could get a hole in it and we need some way for it to breathe anyway up here. We can't have pressure building up on top of the diaphragm so it has to be able to breathe out through that hole. The problem is if I get a hole in this diaphragm I don't want a whole bunch of gas coming out of this bleed hole. So they make a very small hole in it and I'll show you a picture of that. Remember that bleeder I talked about before? Well if you look real close in there you can see a hole in that bleeder. Now that bleeder is very small, very small hole because if this diaphragm here were to burst they don't want a whole pile of gas going through this bleeder. So they put the little hole in there. So it limits the amount of gas that can come through. Very dependable uh, part. Seems to pretty much last forever. Certainly if the diaphragm were to puncture then uh, uh, that would cause problems. However, uh, you'll get a gas smell uh, wherever that pipe goes out. And of course, if it goes out to a pilot or something like that, at least it'll burn it and it would be seen on a service that there was a problem there. But always remember, adjusting these regulators, you adjust clockwise to increase the spring pressure, which increases the pressure on this valve, which increases the downstream regulated pressure. These will hold a very steady pressure uh, for many, many years. And that is the pressure regulator.